Sabah, hi everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today I am at the Adobe Max uh, conference in the Los Angeles Convention Center in downtown LA, and I'm getting some hands-on, uh, real quick hands-on with the Photoshop camera from Adobe. Uh, this was just announced yesterday. This is a camera application that is supposed to basically bring in some of the Adobe Photoshop magic to your camera reel or to your actual camera application. Currently supporting Android and iOS in preview mode. I'll give you guys a link in the description, of course, to sign up for that to hopefully be able to join in. But let's not waste any time. Let me show you guys a quick walkthrough of the brand new Adobe Photoshop camera on Android and iOS. So this is the Galaxy S10. As you see, we have the triple camera set up in the back, the single camera in the front, uh, unlocking the phone, and then we're able to basically go in straight into the camera itself. This is called Photoshop camera. Let's go ahead and swipe back, we'll go home. You'll notice right there, there's an icon for it. So the Photoshop C, and then you can open it up, and then you're straight taken into the actual camera UI. The UI itself is basically just for photos, as you, uh, the title and title says, this is uh, obviously for Photoshop. We have the ability of switching between the front-facing and back-facing camera. Hey guys. And of course, what we have access here is the ability of also framing our image. But we're able to change the actual aspect ratio from 9 by 16 uh, over all the way to, well, let's go ahead and do it one more time, to 3 by 4. And then, of course, you're able to basically set the flash. And when you go into settings, is the ability, obviously, you know, what account you're logged into, Photoshop preferences. You can go in here, save the original to album. So whenever you're exporting, you're able to export the original image that you were taking. And we'll talk a little bit more about why that's important. Here's a uh, tutorial there, send feedback, and of course, sharing. So whenever you open up the gallery application here, this is kind of more of a workplace. Uh, what that means essentially is all these images were taken with the camera, the Photoshop camera, and now they're being edited. Once they're exported to your existing library, this becomes your gallery on your phone. So these are images that are on my phone as opposed to what these images are in the workplace. And you'll notice there's a couple of pictures here. There's this one, that one, and this one. I took a quick selfie picture right there. Let's go ahead and open it up. And I applied a, an actual effect. This is a bokeh effect. You notice right there on the bottom, we have the ability of looking at lenses, share, delete, and of course, this, this option here allows it to export straight from Photoshop camera onto our device. Because we check that box over there, whenever we're done with editing an image, we can save this directly to our phone, and it'll export the original image on top of the fact of the edited image that we have, which makes it really good because then I can bring it in, and I can go in and look at all the different lenses or the different options. So this is the Billie Eilish one that they uh, talked about this morning. You can see it right there. And then, of course, if you want to edit it a little more, you go into the three options, and then there's a slider. There's that little slider at the bottom, and you can actually fine-tune the option, the filter intensity. You can bring it in a little bit. Go in there, basically the fade, uh, background fade, bring it down it again a little bit more. You could see a little bit more of the background. And once you're done editing the video or the image itself, you can say done. And of course, you can at that point go back, reduce it here, bring down the filters, either export it, share it directly into your normal share options, and of course, apply different lenses. If you don't want to do any of this stuff, you can basically just go back and then it'll take you back into the gallery itself. Uh, now, it does have integration with Google Photos as well as Lightroom, which is really functional. And you can bring images there. But the really cool thing about it is, and then as you can see, the image itself is actually sitting directly in my gallery after I saved it directly into my phone. So one of the things we can do when we go into the actual image, we look at it, and if you give it a second, you'll notice there was that like, almost like a filter that was applied. And that's almost like the auto-tuning that's based into a little magic wand. So if I press and hold on the image, you can see the original. If I release it, you can see the auto-tuned image. And it just looks so much better now. The cool thing is, this is not the only thing you can do here. On top of applying all these filters that we have uh, in here, so if we basically click on the option on the bottom left, those are all the filters, we actually have the ability of actually going all the way to the top and we can actually configure both uh, the shadows, the highlights, the clarity, the, vi uh, the vibrance, of course, exposure, contrast, all of the stuff. And the really cool thing about this is, all of this done is on the fly directly within the camera application. When you're done, you just say done, and you can minimize this little bar right here and of course, save it, and it'll save it directly into your actual camera roll with the original. So you'll notice, here's the gallery, and of course, here's the camera roll, and you can see the original, and of course, the edited ones will be sitting in here. You can export them, and of course, see all the, all the goodness here, and you can see other people have been using that as well. So switching it over to the iOS side of the house, uh, pretty much the same experience. We have the application that loads. Now, this is separate from the actual main camera that you have on your phone. This is the Photoshop camera. Uh, a couple things that we have here that we don't have on Android, and that's the ability of using the multiple cameras on the actual device. So you'll notice right there we have multiple cameras on the front. If I switch over to the back, we have the triple cameras, camera two, and then of course the ultra wide that just gets you into the actual action. So better support right now in the preview, but hopefully we'll have optimizations for Samsung devices as well as Pixel devices when this becomes available. Uh, the main benefit of course here is what we can do is just go in directly into the library, 
we can load up an image, same thing. What we do here essentially is, and this is very similar to the way we have it on Android, we have all the different lenses, the different uh, experiences, so they have the new, brand new Billie Eilish one that just got announced, and then of course you can load it up. So let's go ahead and bring up, uh, let's say Blue Sky or Artful. You can also go into the, what they call like a, the lens uh, store, so the lens library. You can scroll down, and if you want to download one, you can go into details, add it. You can also manage the different lenses that you have, and this is similar on both Android and iOS. What gives you the ability basically organizing the lenses in where you want them to show. Uh, other than that, when you're in the camera itself, you can go in and you can see that little gear option. You can click it, and then at that point, you can change the, the lens detail. You can see right there, put it in. Of course, uh, structure, you can actually set it up, change it a little bit, opacity, and then you can also get it to the way you want to look. When you're done, you bring down the menu option right there, and you have that same ability of basically saving directly to the camera reel. And at this point, if you had it set correctly in the settings tab, you could see it, you could see right there, it did save the original image as well as my edited image. So here's the original, and here's the edited in Photoshop camera. Very nice, very good. Now, again, this is still in preview. You do need to sign up. I'll give you guys a link in the description below to get the sign up uh, page and hopefully be able to get as part of the preview program. So one of the really cool things about running different filters is the ability of actually editing it after the fact. So you'll notice right there, this is the Billy Eilish filter that was talked about earlier this morning. You get the different lenses, the different options, and if you want to edit it a little bit more, click the option here and then you can use the slider to kind of change the ever so slight uh, distance, you know, obviously the lighting in the background. And of course, if you don't like it, let's say you want to change it, we'll say done. Switch over to the different one here. This is the, uh, the angel one. So a lot of cool things, a lot of cool uh, benefits coming in. This is running again on the S10, and we've also seen uh, that they're also running it uh, on iPhone as the demo was showing yesterday. Uh, the main benefit is this is going to be a camera alternative. Now my understanding is this is going to work on Samsung devices in the preview to, uh, period, as well as the uh, Pixel devices for Android. As far as iPhones, it's going to be an iPhone 6s or later, running iOS 12 or later. So you need a minimum of a 6s, as well as an iOS 12. After that, you're able to basically enjoy the preview on it, and I'm not sure if they're going to bring it into earlier versions of uh, you know, iOS. The overall experience of using the camera, it's actually very nice. Uh, it works well on both ecosystems, although on iOS currently supports multiple lenses. So even though the S10 had three cameras on the back, we only had access to the main 12 megapixel shooter on it. Um, but they're saying that they're working on it and hopefully we'll see more lens support on Android. Uh, but the iOS application and Android both support the same lenses. Uh, both of them for the most part are camera replacement apps. So you're launching a camera application, going in there, taking an image, and then of course using the built-in gallery, which is kind of like a workplace, to edit your images and get the look that you want, and then of course exporting it. And you are able to keep the original image just in case, uh, you just need to turn that on in the settings. Um, let me know what you guys think of the brand new Adobe Photoshop camera and how does it actually impact you? Is this something that would interest you? Um, I just wanted to do a quick hands-on with it. Uh, they did actually talk this morning about the Billie Eilish filter and uh, lo and behold, I have the Billie Eilish filter and my picture's right there. So like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, of course, as soon as I get this running on my phone, I'll try to do a little bit more testing with it um, actually outside with other uh, images other than just being here at the studio or at the Adobe Max conference in LA. I'll see you guys in the next video.